I have a 2020 Jeep Cherokee. This one has the 3.2 liter. Because if you have anything other than a 3.2 liter on a Jeep Cherokee, you're just wasting your time. But we're gonna do an oil change. Um, this is what we used. And this is the, uh, it's a cartridge oil filter. But here's the numbers on that. So we're gonna start by moving this little port here and using a uh, 24 millimeter and a small extension, we're gonna get to the top of the oil filter cartridge right there. Now you don't wanna take that completely off yet. You just wanna get it to where you can, you know, grab it by your hand. Cause we're gonna wanna drain the oil. Go ahead and take off the oil cap, and get some good airflow. So after you safely jack up the vehicle and support it with jack stands, safety first, you're going to want to come down on the passenger side, follow it straight back, and there's going to be a little small opening uh, for it. So after you take your 13 millimeter and loosen up the oil drain plug, we'll go ahead and drain it. And get back with you. So while this is draining, I'm um, actually supposed to get it's like eight or nine thousand miles on an oil change for this Jeep. Being this is our third Cherokee uh, with a 3.2, I can tell you that's not true. Um, I usually wait till it gets about 30% on the dash before changing this oil. Uh, I know all of our other ones once you start getting to that 25 to 20 percent range when you start the jeep on a cold start it gets a loud clutter each time you'll hear it just krr, krr, each time and then once you change the oil it went away 100 percent so that's why again just me personally i usually wait till it gets to about 30 percent on the dash before i change the oil just you know you're out there and you start noticing that that's probably what it is Again, every time we change the oil on our past Jeeps, instant, quiet, smooth startups. All right, so once you put your 13 millimeter bolt back, I always let mine drain for a really long time. Uh, I'm not in a rush, so I wanna get as much oil out as I can. So anyways, you put that up, put the car back down on the tires. And we'll go ahead and change out that filter. filter look like. Go ahead and just pop that out and get that o-ring off because there you should get a new one in the new box. Yeah the new filter I'm sorry the old filter it takes a little bit of pressure but it just pulls straight out and you're gonna want to get this uh, get this o-ring off. There you go turn off the light for you so you can see See that? Pop that out, that's garbage. Make sure there's nothing on the, make sure there's nothing on it. Now, put your, put your new one on first. You gotta make sure it goes all the way to the bottom into that groove right there, and not on the threads. So with the new ring on, you're just gonna take your filter, press it in, make sure it doesn't pull out, make sure it spins, and you can insert it back into the oil filter slot. All right. Now it's just plastic, so you don't wanna over tighten it. This is or if you have a torque wrench is what you want to use. 18 foot pounds. But you want to make sure this is out of here because like a normal oil filter, this will shoot oil out the top. There you 
and ain't going anywhere. And now to the oil. So like I stated earlier, it needs 5.9 something quarts. We're gonna put six in. Once you fill it, finish filling it up, check the O-ring on the oil cap. Lock that on nice and tight. Make sure that's all tight. Everything's put back together. Then we'll move inside the Jeep to reset the uh, oil life percentage. Now, according to what you have your screen sent to, now that you can see mine, but mine spent speedometer. So you need your keypad. Push down, see if I can get you in there. No, you're not going to be able to read it. So anyways, click down until you see vehicle information. Keep, keep clicking left or right until you see the oil life. And you press down the OK button until it fully resets. It's at 100. Now you're done. Thanks for watching.